All right, Backyard Dippers, John with Discount Saw Pool, here to do one thing today, and that is to prove exactly how good this pre-filter is compared to the reviews you may see online. Now, for those unfamiliar, this is a Cirque Pool TJ16 pre-filter, and you can see here, if you take a look at the bottom, its job is to collect the bulk of dirt and debris before it ever reaches your main filter. Now, I'll show you how we're gonna be testing this out, and then we'll see exactly how effective it was at preventing all that dirt from mucking up your main filter. So, let's get started. So we could run the pre-filter in a more controlled setting, we created our own equipment test pad with circulating water. As you can see, the water comes from this tub. This is going to simulate your pool. You will also notice the basic equipment, such as your pump and filter, and of course the component we are testing today, which is the TJ16 pre-filter. What we will do is pour about one liter of sand into the circulation system of the test pad and try to measure roughly how much gets collected before reaching your main filter. We will document this whole event with multiple cameras, some of which actually inside the different pieces of equipment. So here we have our liter of container of sand. Let's toss it in and see what happens. This represents the dirt and sediment that would normally be getting into your pool. Okay, as expected, it's circulating quite nicely. We should start to see it collecting in the pre-filter shortly. Okay, great, there it is. Uh, to see this happening in real time, guys, was actually pretty cool. Already it appears to be a lot of sand being collected in the bottom here. I would say this took maybe five minutes to collect. After the main body of water started to turn clear, we decided it was time to shut everything down and check out the results. One thing I want to note is that we needed more water than we had to purge the valve. In other words, the tub we used was a little smaller than we needed, which meant we had to purge what we could, then estimate the amount of sand left over in the TJ16 pre-filter. Okay guys, so here we have all the sand that the TJ16 pre-filter collected. Now if you remember, we started with one full container, right? One liter of sand. After we purged the valve here, which took seconds, we got just under three quarters, okay? I'd say a good 70% is what was collected. Guys, that's 70% of dirt and debris that would have reached your main filter here had you not had a pre-filter installed. Now after we did take the lid off of the filter and pull out the grid, um, you can see that we found a little bit of sand at the bottom here. Sure, if you shake it around a little bit, you can get a little bit of sand to, to come out. But overall, we've been very pleased with the results. So if you want to cut down on all the water you waste backwashing your sand filter or how often you have to clean out your cartridge filter or just all the hassle that's involved with your DE filters maintenance, this pre-filter is an easy do-it-yourself add-on that works with virtually any pool. Okay, take a look at it on our website, and if you have any questions, please call us. Again, I'm John with Discount Saw Pool, and remember, we'll take care of you guys. Thank you.